I'm pretty sure I just joined the Bitcoin 1% club. And you know, to celebrate, let me take a sip of this $1 McDonald's coffee. Then back to work. So if you remember last week, I made a fairly big purchase of Bitcoin on the dip. And my timing was pretty good because it slowly ramped up afterwards and I was pretty happy. However, then this week, Bitcoin is kind of tanked. So I upped my position by a lot. But before we get into that, let's talk about what the Bitcoin 1% even is, because this is actually a much more interesting and complex question than you would ever expect, than I ever expected before I started researching into this. So there's actually an article that's written on decrypt.co. I'll have this article linked below. They do an amazing job of breaking down what the Bitcoin 1% is and then the, the ranges as to what, what fits into those estimates. So there's a few, uh, a few things that, that make deciding or determining what the one percenters really are uh, with Bitcoin. I mean, if you're not already aware, it's just that the 1% of people who own the highest amount of Bitcoins. You know, if you just think about the one percenters as far as income earners, it's the top 1% of income earners. This is just the top 1% of Bitcoin holders. Now, this is kind of hard to determine because Bitcoin is fairly opaque. An individual can have more than one Bitcoin wallet. We don't know exactly how evenly distributed this is. We don't know the account value of every individual person. We don't know the factors of whales, but there are certain things we do know. The ranges between the Bitcoin 1% range anywhere from 0.28 Bitcoin all the way to 15 Bitcoin. So let's break down the estimates in that whole range. So we're gonna go over to this article. Again, this is linked below. Go and check this out because they do, do an awesome job. So on the low end of the range, we have an analyst whose name is Jake Levinson, who says, if you own 0.28 Bitcoin, you're statistically guaranteed to be in the richest 1% of the world in Bitcoin terms. But he, he, he calculates this by dividing Bitcoin's 21 million cap so there won't ever be any more than 21 million total Bitcoin. Divide that by 1% and then take the current population of 7.5 billion and you get 0.28 Bitcoin. It's not the greatest calculation, but it's a calculation. It gets us, you know, at least some kind of guideline. Also, as we see here in the article, it doesn't take into account that the fact that many Bitcoin haven't been mined and many Bitcoin have been lost, including some Bitcoin that I have that's an account sitting somewhere with like eight or $9,000 in it that I'm never gonna be able to touch again. So there's uh, several other theories that, that range wildly from this 0.28 Bitcoin holder. I mean, at 0.28, there are, it just doesn't really make sense because I know multiple people who have more than 0.28 Bitcoin. It, doesn't, it seems like the 1% would be higher than that. Another calculation, another rival theory suggests that you'd need an investment of 15 Bitcoin to join the 1% club. Now, this seems a little bit high to me. And this, as the writing of this article, it says that's about $619,000. As of right now, that's actually more like $750,000. So we can see they reached that conclusion by disregarding wallet and address data and assuming no lost Bitcoin in its calculation. So it's, of course, still not going to be perfect and a calculation of 25 million Bitcoin owners. And again, we don't really know what that total is because you could have more than one Bitcoin wallet. You could have 20 Bitcoin wallets, and I'm sure there's some people who do. So they do some power law distributions just to show a distribution potentially for Bitcoin holders. And we can see your know, 90% of holders have more than 0.001 Bitcoin. 50% of holders have more than 0.037 Bitcoin. 10% of holders have more than 1.28 Bitcoin. This is when it starts to get a little bit questionable to me, especially now that you know one Bitcoin is well over $50,000. And then 1% is 15 Bitcoin. And we can ramp that all the way up to the, the 0.001% having over 7,000 Bitcoin, and we can see the number of owners with over 7,000 Bitcoin, according to this power law calculation, would be 250 owners. Now there's even more calculations beyond this. Because it says here, landing on precise figures is difficult because the data gets skewed by changes in exact number of Bitcoin holders, total lost Bitcoin, and the total number of wallets, as we mentioned earlier. But here we have another kind of calculation. This one I think is the closest to accurate. So we can see this chart published by BitInfo. They say about 2% of all people hold between one and 10 Bitcoin, 2% of all Bitcoin holders, I should say. And 0.4% of all Bitcoin holders between 10 and 100 Bitcoin, and they all the way up to one Bitcoin holder holding between potentially 100,000 and 1 million Bitcoin, which 
they're saying would be 141,000. And if we do some math there, that comes out to $7.6 billion that that one person would hold. Of course, again, this is just a statistical representation. This isn't actual like data or census data pulling from actual individuals. It's just estimations and calculations. And they're also saying on this, 50% of people hold between zero and 0.001 Bitcoin. So like one dollar worth of bitcoin their their calculations so really i don't think we have a perfect answer to this but my idea of the bitcoin one percent just to make it nice and simple i'm just going to say if you hold more than one bitcoin you're probably within the bitcoin one percent and i mean does it really matter no it doesn't it's just you know one additional thing that's that's kind of interesting so now let's talk about the purchase that i just made so like i said last week i made a pretty decent sized purchase of twenty five thousand dollars of bitcoin on the most recent dip and then it was dipping again and i'm kind of uh, evolving my strategy just with crypto in general and I bought some additional so let's take a look at my brokerage here I have to log in real quick Okay, here we go. This is a new brokerage that I've just been testing out for the last couple of weeks. We can see asset overview, 2.047 Bitcoin for a total of $110,169.62 worth of Bitcoin. So just over two entire Bitcoin. I've always wanted to own over one Bitcoin. Before, just a few hours ago, I only own like half a Bitcoin. So this is extremely exciting. However, I probably won't hold this much for very long because I'm gonna diversify a little bit into to other coins I'm going to start doing more lending and things like that so my entire two Bitcoin holding isn't going to be two Bitcoin for very long this is constantly evolving I'm trying different things I'm trying out this new brokerage which I thought does a really good job I have them linked below if you open an account with them you're going to save 20% on trading fees and their actual trading fees are like way lower than any other site that I've seen so far and that's what really piqued my interest they also have ways to earn interest on basically every single kind of crypto they have other various ways that you can earn interest on their coins i know that that's i don't own any of their coins right now I'm, i haven't really dug into it enough to uh, to be confident in it but i know a lot of people do it they have poll stake there, there's tons of different ways that you can actually earn money on your crypto with their site so it's worth checking out and you know possibly opening an account like i said that's linked below but i thought this would be an exciting update just to show kind of how my positions have evolved and my strategies have evolved and i think i'm just going to do more and more of lending and diversifying into other kind of coins and really researching into things like altcoins and things like that so if you enjoy this kind of content make sure you interact with it like this video comment subscribe because youtube does not like pushing this kind of content so if you like it you have to show them that you like that you like it that way i'll create more of this kind of stuff so i'd like to thank you for tuning in and i hope you have a profitable day